keep saying that. You wanna know why I'm fucking happy? Do you wanna know why I'm so red like the Kool-Aid man? Do you wanna know why? Because I'm so excited. This morning's classic 2016 American edition was hacked. Oh my goodness. You can add an additional 30, 40 games, up to 96 games till the memory stops accepting games. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today in this video because it's a very easy process, but I know you'll be scared. There is a possibility you might break this, so be careful. I'm not, you know, do all this. It's your responsibility. If you have a backup, I have a backup till somebody figures out how to de break them. But I did it, I took the risk, and I have some games on there that were not possible. But now, via the hack, I can, and it's also a soft mod, it's not a hard mod, you're not gonna have to open this up, you're not gonna have to solder anything, just literally uh, plug it in via USB. First, you wanna go to this website, uh, I'll put it in the link in the info box. Download this tool, you uh, unzip it, it's gonna be zipped of course, let me zoom, let me focus, you're gonna open it up, and inside is gonna be this, hit that, you open that, and then, you throw your ROMs in here. Your ROMs are going to be selected via the Add More Games tab here. And then once you hit that, it's going to look for your ROMs or whatever. Uh -oh. And then um, you go to each one of these. Make sure you have this click. If you don't have that click, it's going to erase all the 30 games that you had on there before. So make sure you have this click. Make sure you have that click. It's unchecked. It's erasing 30 games that are already installed. Oh, good lord. So you would hit like each individual one. You have to have the box art, of course. So you hit the Google, you hit the Google button, and you know, locate the art. It'll take a few seconds, but whatever. So it locates the art, pick whatever. Just pick the one that you like, the highest quality one, whatever. Um, if you have a two player game, like for instance River City Ransom, you have to go in here and select two players simultaneously so that it gives you two player support. I don't know why the NES Mini does this, but it does. So uh, I guess it gives you one player support by default. So you're going to want to hit that. Okay, so once you've done all that, you're going to hit Upload Selected Games to NES Mini. And here's where the scary part comes in. When you hit that button, it's going to tell you to install or uh, put, install the drivers for the NES Classic Edition for your computer. Oh my god, I hope I don't break it! Yeah! <laughs> And I suggest don't use the uh, USB that came with the NES Mini. I was having problems installing a driver using the NES Mini uh, as USB. So I pulled out an old, uh, what is this, a Motorola one that I had for my old phone. Use use a one that, you, it, that came with your phone. That's what I recommend. Because these are usually for data transfers and charging. And the ones you get for like the NES Classic or other little things like that are, use, are usually just for charging. So they kind of give you errors. Uh, when install when using it to transfer files so use a different USB cable that came with the phone or one that you know has data and Charging capabilities somebody's gonna be in the comments like all USBs that have data and, and, and charging capabilities You're a fucking asshole not all of them some of them are just set to fucking charge and I was having way too many problems With the stock one so use the use another one it pretty much works the same way as the other uh, ROMs that were in here so there goes the box art that I added from Google, from the tool. I only added a few games just to test it out. Uh, I added my favorite, Street Fighter 20K10, uh, River City Ransom, Silver Surfer. What else did I add? Oh, I'm gonna add a whole bunch. I added Batman, Blaster Master, Bucky O'Hare, Captain America. You can max out at 97 or 96 before the memory won't allow you. There's only 512 megabytes of memory on here. So let me change the display settings. See, I'm not that fucking liar. Let's select Bucky, and it works the same. You can uh, run the ROMs and do the whole uh, save states. Look at that. How awesome is that? Come on, come on, come on. Come on.
So let's hit the reset so you guys don't think I'm lying here. There you go, save states. How rad is that? I know this video isn't as in depth, but I'll send you guys over to the, look at that. I'll send you guys over to the link of the video where I uh, actually learn how to do this and uh, I'll give you guys a tool and all that information. It's fucking easy. Take the plunge, install your own ROMs, have fun, let's go play. Fuck this video. Woo! Be eat my ass. Fuck you scalpers. I only paid $60. But now you're gonna hack it and try to sell it for more. Like 200 bucks. Now that you can add more rums, you can eat my dick. My, my dick. Eat my dick, eat my dick. <laughs>